let's see an example to implement the flowchart and the various symbols used in flowchart let's start with a simple example to find the area of circle the algorithm says that we are supposed to start then we are supposed to have radius input then we are supposed to have a calculation part in the processing and then finally to display the area and then we are supposed to wind up a task a simple flowchart which will have only few geometrical symbols no branching let's see the entire flowchart the flowchart says that the rounded edges rectangle will have start then you are supposed to have the read radius now the parallelograms has been used to display the message and even display the output also so it all depends upon what you write in this parallelogram to decide whether it will act as an input or output instruction the input says that you are supposed to read radius the parallelogram says read radius in some conventional flow chart we can use even variables to represent this radius so you can say read radius bracket mein r so you can have r to represent the radius as an identifier then you can have a rectangle to indicate the calculation part the area is calculated in in some flow charts you can you can plot the entire mathematical formula pi r square so you can have 3.14 asterisk r asterisk r if i have a language influence on the flow chart or you can use a simple mathematical formula pi raised to 2 a rectangle says calculations once the calculation has been done you can even write a mathematical formula as a equals to pi r square so the calculation is now stored into a variable or identifier called as a and then i can display area if i'm using identifier for all these instances then probably the flow chart might change this way start read radius bracket mark and say r and then i can say calculate area a equals to 3.14 asterisk r asterisk r or i can say calculate area a equals to pi r square so where a is an identifier which will store the result of pi r square into it and then i can say display area a and then i can end up this particular flow chart by saying stop you might find the arrows sequentially flowing which says the path of the program after this block which block has to be executed will always be indicated by these arrows a simple flow chart which will have two parallelograms indicating input and output one rectangle indicating a calculation part and one two rounded edges rectangle one to indicate start and the other to indicate stop thank you